Cooking with Sebastian In the kitchen it's happening Breaking the eggs, he's cracking The soup, the scarf, the fashion What's happening? Sebastian! Hello everybody, this is Cooking with Sebastian Remington made a fantastic song for you guys But, for us to get started, we're gonna make a cup of tea I'm gonna do something really easy, see how you guys like this stuff, how good I am on camera, hopefully I'm a Gordon Ramsay. What are you? An idiot sandwich. Idiot sandwich what? An idiot sandwich, Chef Ramsay. Suit on, hopefully. But anyways, I'm gonna make a cup of tea, make some French toast, super easy, but coconut breaded French toast, and it's going to be lovely. It's gonna be lovely. Gotta make syrup from scratch. Um, not gonna be using anything boxed. Just going to use ingredients. And I think for the syrup, I'm doing a blueberry syrup. So the trick is you gotta do is fresh blueberries, you got to put in the pan before you start making everything. Cup of water um, that you need. Hot water, preferably, so it melts down the sugar before you're boiling it. Put that in there. Put a cup of sugar as well it's basically one part of everything. If you're making drinks, you'll understand that. If not, one part to one part, basically is one cup, one cup, one cup. In my case, it's always one shot, one shot, one shot. Sugar, put in there, turn on the burner, and you're just gonna let that simmer down and boil, and then simmer down from there. Um, pretty simple. I put some fresh lemon juice in there just so that the acid cuts down quite a bit for the blueberries and for the sugar so you're not getting something so sweet even though some people like that super sugary stuff like Remington. Mm. Remington literally will eat a whole, like drink, could drink a bottle of syrup and I'm not like that. So, gotta boil this down. Everything should be done with this. This takes about 15 minutes. Um, the only thing is that I need to get going is going into the French toast which I got a loaf of bread today. Um, not using any like white bread or anything because I like the texture. From this, it doesn't get super watered down and it, like you get that sogginess. I think when you get a bread that has a little bit more crisp to it, it's better for French toast. And yeah, that's really much all that I have to prepare for you guys. And then I'm gonna do this uh, toasted coconut shavings into the oven, broil that down. And then, yeah. All right, we need to get these cut. Move, please. See, flowers. Get it for Larissa so she doesn't get mad at me. That's, that's what you gotta get flowers for. I don't know how thick you wanna go with the slices. I think for French toast, it's always better if you have a little bit thicker of slices. Um, otherwise, it gets that sogginess. These are pretty big loaves, but who cares? It's French toast, you gotta do whatever you wanna do with it. Not following, I don't really follow instructions for ingredients. I just kind of take whatever I have, whatever I'm feeling, and just make that. Um, as you can see for this, that they're breaking down from boiling, and that's what you want, and the sugar will make it start stick. I like it when the syrup's a little bit more sticky, it's more of a jam, and could use a little bit more sugar. You just gotta eyeball everything. Moving into a new place with having everything that's like completely professional, it makes me wanna get even better, like dishware and stuff and pots and pans. But I have what I have and I'm happy with it. And I'm able to cook during this quarantine and make incredible dishes for Mishka that she eats everything. And then Larissa eats all the food. So for this, I'm doing cinnamon French toast with it, with the coconut shavings. So you need to get three eggs so you have enough to cover these two. Um, break it down. I can do the one hand thing, but I don't need to do it because I don't want to get shells in there. Oh fuck, I already did. See? Not that good, guys. Approximately 10 hours later. Okay. 
So you can see it as the syrup's now doing exactly what you want it to do. Right. It's already it's already cooking over. It kind of looks like Thanksgiving cranberries already, but they're blueberries. Um, and you're just gonna let this simmer for about 15 minutes until it gets really sticky. It's good to just cover it up so nothing really splats anywhere. I honestly had to, knowing that I was shooting this, this whole thing was a mess. I, I'm terrible at cleaning up the stove. I hate cleaning stoves. Now you just gotta whisk these as you would for anything else. If you're making an omelet, same deal. You can use a whisk, you can use a fork, whatever you like. Third cup of milk, or you can do a half cup of milk, depending on how much you want to use. You can use almond milk to make sure you're vegan. See, that's what I'm talking about. Being safe. Making a fire. <laughs> I'm gonna put some cinnamon in it. Actually, and now I'm just gonna have to wait for this to go down for about 10 more minutes. I just don't want to start making French toast, not having everything done. It's nice having all your ingredients out, making sure everything's ready. Um, otherwise, you're gonna be running around and grabbing every single pan in the whole entire thing. I have this problem that Larissa literally will just get so upset with me because I will use every single pan in the kitchen just to make one dinner. And then I've been getting better at cleaning while I cook, but it's important to, if you can, make everything in one pan. When we were on tour for the longest time, I would only have one pan to cook everything in now I have the luxury of being able to do whatever I'd like, so I'm using the full advantage of it. Gotta sip my tea. You do make the best tea. But I make my great tea, it's good. Next step is soaking the French toast or the bread into the syrup, like and all the eggs and the milk and the cinnamon, and have that, and it's pretty much, that's all you go straight to pan, and it's easy. Gotta butter the pan. Now the, the thing is just to get kind of rid of all the water that's already in there. Trick is when you're broiling this, it will literally catch on fire if you don't walk, keep an eye on it. Make sure your pan is hot before you put this in there. There you go. You need a spatula, flip it, and yeah, wait about four to five minutes on one side, flip it, do the same thing. That's it. Pretty simple. I'm gonna get this one ready as well, just set it in there. Soak up as much of the, the egg and the milk that you can. Um, I apologize if people get offended about me cooking with eggs. I tried my best not to be cooking poultry or fish. Because I know there's a lot of vegans out there. Being careful for you guys. Making sure you get what you want out of cooking with Sebastian. We were especially sleeping in a van. We would have to make sure that everyone was fed. We were only getting paid like 10, 20 bucks a show. So we would go to Walmart, get a bunch of food, something that I could cook all in a crock pot or cook in a one pan skillet, like outside of our van, plug into a gas station. Um, I might actually end up showing you guys some of those recipes for, you know, in time to need that you're gonna need to only be able to cook not a ton of food, but or a ton of food, but with not a lot of resources. So that's exactly what you want. So you're already getting it crisp enough that you're getting it darkened, and you know, that's just from the butter really doing its job and making sure the pan's hot enough. With the coconut shavings, it's lit. I just turned it on broil and it's ready. It's gonna this will be done in about two minutes. Blueberries, raspberries, bananas and strawberries. The trick that I've learned is if you cup everything behind, you use your knuckle to guide and you're not gonna cut yourself, so. See, already done. Super quick, that's what you want when, it, when it's done. You're gonna do that to be able to put it on top of the French toast, you layer it, put it in between. All done with the French toast, or at least one of them. I like being able to have a layer. And I like, everyone always puts things of like fruit just on top of it. But if you're doing two or three of them, you, it's really nice when you can cut through it and you have all your textures and layers. So I kind of like make it like a sandwich. 
All right. Got your cup of tea. Got to flip this. You can always do a little check if you want. Needs a little bit more time. And waiting for this. That's all. Cooking with Sebastian. Not too much fun, but it's all right. Always on stage. You all right? <laughs> That's what I think. You all right? All right. You all right? You all right? <laughs> it's like I get a British accent out of nowhere. Have to flip it. Get the jam. Pour it on top. We're all done. It's pretty much the easiest thing I can possibly make for you guys, except maybe a bowl of cereal and Remington's mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if this goes well and you guys like what you see, and I get better at talking about food and ingredients, I'm gonna wanna show you guys things that I've mastered. Like there's things like, the people that aren't vegan, I'm sorry, but there's this uh, sea bass dish that I cook with my own mango salsa that I make from scratch, put it on top of that, do it with almond and garlic, asparagus on the side, really fucking good. I think this is like the most fun you get to create and you get to eat it right after. Um, it's like the best creative outlet I think you could possibly have and it takes up so much time. If you want the sides crispy, which I always do, put it on the side, easy enough. You know what I always say? What? Splatter don't matter. And then you have to clean it up. Yeah. Splatter do matter. Splatter do matter. It's all about presentation. It's basically a sandwich. That is a beautiful looking piece of breakfast. Right? Breakfast at nighttime or morning, you don't fucking know. Or not in a drop, but you shouldn't waste a lot of kids. We'll cut that part out. <laughs> <laughs> this is almost done. And I was, I was saying, I'm gonna do my little bit of dishes to start with and do my meal and I'll have to do anything. This has nothing to do with cooking, but it's good for good housekeeping. I need someone to try it, that's the thing. You should just keep it here until we do the live stream yeah. and have Ryan Spinnerson try it in three days. You could. <laughs> you could try it. These could get have some. Oh, look at all that fruit. Oh. That could be for five people. It's yeah. pretty. That's for your whole family. That's for your whole family. Shake and bake. Now we just gotta wait. Mishka, do you want food? Damn. Wait. Looks almost like it could be a jam, but once it gets cold, cold, it will get really sticky onto top of the French toast. Yes. Sebastian, will it happen again? You gotta let us know. Easy. Chef's gotta Easy. take a bite. I gotta take a bite. Ooh, this does look really fucking good though. Look at that. Ooh. See, that's exactly what I wanted. When they make it, I would like that. When they, when they make it at home, they'll get it. <laughs> Here you go, hold that. Divine. Divine. Divine, divine seal of approval. Cooking with Sebastian in the kitchen.
kitchen, it's happening. Breaking the eggs, he's cracking. The soup, the scarf, the fashion. What's happening? Sebastian.